Hello, my good friends, family, colleagues, and lovers. It's Rob Holmes for another uh, day. I guess it's Monday right now, the day of reading and coffee. This is my Cambridge mug. I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you go to Boston, uh, I got this in Fannell Hall, which is like the kind of touristy area there. But uh, they also have a Cambridge mug in Boston, so you can get both while you're there and uh, kind of double your uh, double your collection in one shot. Ah, I was thinking today about industries that are going to be killed by the coronavirus. One of them, I don't think it's ever going to make a comeback. That's lip reading because of the masks. You get it? I can't imagine lip readers <laughs> having enough business to kind of keep going, you know. I was watching the newscaster on the news today, and he was wearing a mask the whole time. And I'm like, you know, you could just have a guy standing around going, and just have a guy back in the studio overdubbing his voice. This way you could just record the guy once and just change the words in the background. I don't know. It's just an idea. Anyway, let's get some reading done here. Uh, we got some really good ones today. Once I get to it, here we are. All right. The last one on books is Fran Lebowitz, 243. Your life story would not make a good book. Don't even try. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Just kidding. Uh, 244. Drunkenness is the ruin of reason. It is premature old age. It is temporary death. St. Basil. 330 to 379 AD, I believe. 245. Rebelle. Rebelle. I believe the guy's name is. I drink no more than a sponge. 246, Scottish proverb. They talk of my drinking, but never my thirst. 247, a drinker has a hole under his nose that all his money runs into. Thomas Fuller. Mm, I think I'm going to, I'm going to plead the fifth on that one since my bank accounts are uh, private. 248, was a woman who drove me to drink, and I never had the courtesy to thank her for it. W.C. Fields. <laughs> My little chickadee. Unknown. 249. An Irishman is the only man in the world who will step over the bodies of a dozen naked women to get to a bottle of stout. A good portion of me is Irish, and I don't know. I mean, I may, I may jump over a couple naked women, but not a dozen for a bottle of stout. But I get the point. 250, Dorothy Parker. One more drink, and I'll be under the host. <laughs> 251, Georges Jean Nathan. 1882 to 1958. I drink to make other people more interesting. 252, another W.C. Fields. Ah, my little chickadee. Inflation has gone up over a dollar a quart. In other words, he, uh, he equates uh, the economy to his alcohol consumption. 253, Gene Kerr. Even though a number of people have tried, no one has yet found a way to drink for a living. 254, Malachi McCourt. I haven't touched a drop of alcohol since the invention of the funnel. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. We're going to stop it right there. And um, we're going to see you tomorrow. Um, you know, I always enjoy this time with you. And I think it's kind of fun. I'm really enjoying it. We're on, uh, I think, 23rd episode now. And it's just uh, it's kind of just me and you, you know. So anyway, um, I'll catch you guys later. Bye. <laughs>